Well, praise God, praise God, you lovely people on Facebook and on YouTube and to the whole wide world. Blessings to your family this morning. First, giving honor to God that's the head of my life, and he should be ahead of everybody's life. Well, everybody got their opinion about their life, and I can't make people uh, put God first, but I tell you, he said, first seek the kingdom of God and his righteousness. All the things that you desire shall come. Matthew 6, one of my favorite scriptures, and I live with that because I put God first in everything we do. Well, today we want to talk about something that's very uh, important, and it's talking about minding your own business. Come on, if we could get the world to mind your own Kool-Aid and nobody else, look how much chaos would not it would not be. If I took care of just my business, Mama used to say something I didn't know what it meant when she told me. She said, "Junior, if you take care of your uh, your bills, your life, your relationship for six months, just take care of your stuff." And then for the next six months, leave other people's business alone. My God, that's a whole year. So let me read this in your text, uh, out of the text. It's first, uh, uh, where is it? Let's go to Proverbs 26 and 17. It says, whoever meddles into quarrels, not, uh, not of his own, is like one who takes a passing dog by the ear. So, you you know, I love that because that parable is just like old German shepherd, old pit bull running past you and you try to catch his ears. Tell me how much trouble you're going to have. There's going to be some trouble. Uh, it says uh, in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 11, it said, and to expire to life quietly. Do, do your life quietly. And... To mind your own affairs, to mind your own business, and to work with your hands as we was instructed to do. That's uh, 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 11. So it's right here in the scripture. It is a lot of them. I could just go on and on. There's about 50 of them in here that's telling you how to mind your own business. I would look into that if I was you because God is really... Uh, keying on you taking care of your business. You have to love on other people, but also take care of your business, if that makes sense. So this is winning wins. Yes, it is. Win your joy back. You haven't smiled since 2001. My God, that was the last year. Uh, uh, you haven't smiled and laughed in a long time. Only thing you've been doing is sad and, and crying. And so now, today, we're going to turn it around. You're going to win your stuff back. Whatever you go to do today, whether it's a job, my God, get a house, get a car, get a better job, get in a better relation. All of that, if you believe that today, you're going to win. Look at your neighbor and say, my God, I'm going to win. I'm going to win some today on this winning Wednesday. I'm not going to be a loser today. Nothing is going to make me uh, sweat today. I don't care if that boss is clown at work. You're not going to make me sweat. I don't care if Vera try to borrow some more money and haven't paid me back the $90 she owed me. You're not going to make me sweat. When I get home from work, like children might be all over the place. They ain't going to see me uh, sweat. My God, my husband may come home with attitude. My God, like his coffee at work wasn't sweet. So he may come home, but you're not going to. I wish I had a church to talk back to me. I'm talking about you and me. Let nobody see you sweat. My God, try to keep it balanced. The Bible said whatever you do, have a sober mind. So listen, on this win and wins, you guys be blessed today. Just a little hot word. Stay in your own business and stay out of other people's lane. Then you won't get in an accident, if that makes sense. I love you all. You guys be blessed.